Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we've got this Parkside 20 volt team battery. It's a 4 amp hour, but it's not feeling very well right now. It's got one red light showing, and if you put it on the charger, it's showing the faulty lights. Check it in the voltmeter, it's coming to 2.4, 2.5 volts. So that's a 20 volt battery when it's fully charged. So 2.4 volts is not great. So have a battery showing a very low volt like that. <coughs> you usually have to bring the voltage up somehow and the jump start method is usually the go to for everyone. But I would always recommend you open the battery and check the individual banks of cells before we go storming in. So we'll just get this battery open here now. Just take the top off here now. And we can examine the individual banks of cells, check the voltage. So if you recall we're getting 2.4 volts across the whole battery, which is sort of that, isn't it? 2.6, it says now. Jesus mine. Half a volt in that bank of cells. Half a volt in that bank of cells. Put half a volt in that bank of cells. Half a volt in that bank of cells. And last but not least, about half a volt in that bank of cells as well. So that's where your 2.5s coming out. It's getting about half a volt in every bank. Most people will tell you that, that when once the battery gets that low, it's finished anyway, but that's not the case. Sometimes you can recover these with a jump start, that's connecting another live battery, fully charged battery to it, and bringing up the voltage. However, there can be risks with this. You can actually burn out some of your cells, overheat them, and then they pop, and they're, and they're goners. So there is a much more milder and safer way to do this, and I'm going to show you what it is today. This is what's called a DC power supply, or bench power supply. Uh, it's a plug-in to your ordinary electricity and it puts DC voltage out the leads so you can charge things like this battery and that's what we're going to do. We're going to bring up the voltage of the battery with this. What we're doing is we're hooking this up to the power supply and we'll set it for 19 volts and we're going to just push the button and let her start charging and we're going to come back to her later when she's suitably recovered. It's only been a couple of minutes and I hooked up the voltmeter to check how the little battery's doing and it's come up to 15.66 it's going up all the time it won't be long till it reaches about I would say about 17, 17 and a half and then the battery should be able to be charged then so a relatively short time has passed and it's come up to 17.19 and climbing so I might take this off and put it in the charge to see what happens so here we are, we'll reassemble this and uh, get it on the charge quickly. Let's get this in the charge, see what happens this time. And it's charging. So we'll leave that on a while to see if it takes a full charge. This is still charging away. And it's showing the full bar, so... We'll take it off and give it a little test to see what the voltage is like and how well it recovered. We'll be optimistic and put it to the higher range. Hopefully it'll be over 20. Yeah, 20.5 20 shots. That's perfect. Maximum voltage there. You see it's staying stable. It's not dropping either. Like, so that's pretty good. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for all my other videos.